Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Rockbridge Regional Library Storytime Live. My name is Miss Wendy, and I am so happy to have you here with me today. We are going to read some books. We're going to sing some songs. We're going to learn some about some musical instruments, and we're going to celebrate Black History Month. Lots of interesting people to read about today and lots of interesting authors to read. So let's get started. First, we always start with our hello song, and this is has American Sign Language in it, and we'll say hello, and then our friends are our two fingers, and they give each other a hug, and then it's time to say hello. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello again. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Very good, very good. So at the beginning of story time, I always like to go over the days of the week. How many days of the week are there? Seven. There are seven days of the week, so let's go over them. Okay, we have Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. How many is that again? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's right. Seven days of the week. Now here is the song. Here's how it goes. You want to hold up seven fingers. And here's how it goes. We'll do it twice. One, two, three. Every week has seven days. See how many you can say. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. What is today? Does anybody know what day it is today? It's the middle of the week. That's right, it's Wednesday. Wednesday story time. So let's sing our song one more time. One, two, three. Every week has seven days. See how many you can say. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. What is today? Do we know? We do. It's Wednesday. Very good. I love Wednesday, especially at 1030 because it's story time. Okay, so the other thing I like to do before I get started with books and music is check the weather. The weather's been doing a lot of crazy stuff lately, and it might even do some crazy stuff tomorrow. So let's go check it out. But first, here is the song. Here's how it goes. I'll sing it once, and then we'll go check it out and see what the weather's like. One, two, three. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? Is it sunny? Is it windy? Is it rainy out today? What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? Is it sunny? Is it windy? Is it rainy out today? Well, let's go see. All right. Let's go see what the sky is doing. Okay, I've got some blue skies, a little bit of clouds. Looks like our flag isn't really flying very far, so I guess that means it's not too windy out there, and I guess it's not raining. So let's see, sing it one more time. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? Is it sunny? Is it windy? Is it rainy out today? Very good, my friends. So let's set our weather here. Okay, 
a little bit of sun and clouds, or completely sunny, a little bit of rain, snow, or a storm. What do you think? Well, I think we have a little bit of clouds and a little bit of sun. So that's what our weather's like today. Excellent. All right, my friends. So there's only one more thing to do before we begin to read. And I think you might know what that is. I have one big question for you. Are you ready for a story? Let me move this back. Good. Okay, are you ready for a story? Well, let's find out. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, clap your hands. Okay, this time, let's touch our nose. If you're ready for a story, touch your nose. There it is. If you're ready for a story, touch your nose. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, touch your nose. Very good. This time, let's touch our toes. If you're ready for a story, touch your toes. If you're ready for a story, touch your toes. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, touch the, your toes. There we go. And then finally, if you're ready for a story, sit real still. See if you can freeze. If you're ready for a story, sit real still. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, sit real still. How long can we hold it? I can't hold it any longer. That's all I that's all I can do. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, now one last thing. I like to take deep breaths before I read because it kind of gets my brain exercised and ready too. So you, you put your thumb and your first finger together and take a deep breath in. Hold it and out. Now put your middle finger and thumb together. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Ring finger and thumb together. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Pinky and thumb together. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. And thumbs up because you like snow. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. That helps. That helps me to just take a second to calm my body, calm my mind, and get ready to read. And I need extra calm because this first book is going to be a challenge for me. Now this first book, let me show you. I have a challenge with this one. So this book is called Squeak, Rumble, and Womp. Okay, so I am going to attempt to read this book and do some sound effects for you. Okay, this may turn out to be a good idea or it may turn out to be a bad idea. So let's find out together. Now, what's really cool about this book? This, it says A Sonic Adventure by Wynton Marsalis and illustrated by Paul Rogers. Now, a sonic adventure, what do you think that means? Sonic is sound. So this is a book with lots and lots of different sounds. So, and Wynton Marsalis, let's not forget, he is a famous trumpeter. He has won nine Grammy Awards, and he has even won the Pulitzer Prize in music. He lives in New Orleans, and he's 60 years old, trumpeter, and he wrote this book. All right, here we go. Uh-oh, I'm going to have to, uh-oh, I'm going to have to lift my camera up, guys. Hold on one moment. There we go. Okay, squeak, rumble, womp, womp, womp. 
<laughs> okay. Oh, look at all the instruments. Do you see any you recognize? And this is brought to us from Candlewick Press. Our back door squeaks! A noisy mouse eeks! Listen to all the sounds that we hear all around us all the time. It's also how my sister's saxophone speaks! <laughs> Big trucks on the highway rumble! Hunger makes my tummy grumble. Have you ever had a grumbly tummy? The big bass drum goes. And our faucet needs a fix. alarm clock ticks. Pizzicato violinist plick pluck licks. Ambulances say, and a motorcycle speeds away. The trombone slides down to play. It's my best trombone. <laughs> I love the wind whistling. Whoosh, whoosh, whooshing my kite into outer space. Whoosh, whoosh. Womp, 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 womp. Tubas fill the place. Buttering my toast. Quick, where it itches the most. that washboard boast. <gasps> flop, flap, flap, flop, flip, flop, flap, flap, clap, 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 clap. Look, it's just the feet going across making that noise. And the hands, of course. Oh. Ding, ding, ding. Pling, 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 pling. Boom, 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 the flies buzz all around my food. The barber's clippers, and I'm a cool dude. I huzz, huzz, huzz a kazoo when I get in the mood. And there goes the fly again. The big train rolls down the tracks. Family is loud, but I'm laid back. My trumpet with an old attack. Squeak, squeak, eek, eek, grumble, 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 tick, pluck, pluck. Oh, a ba, womp, 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 shuk, shuk. Doom, 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 bzzz, bap. <laughs> I don't think I can do all of those sounds again. Look at that. Wow, what fun. So many fun sounds with that one. Now these are the instruments I used. I have these, which is sandpaper for the itchy bit. Here's a cymbal. And of course my ukulele and these. And that's what I did. And of course you've got a drum here. So I hope you enjoyed that book. And the reason I love this book is because it reminds us that there are sounds and music everywhere, everywhere around us. So 
I thought it'd be fun to play a little game. Oh, that made a noise. So I'm gonna I'm gonna lower my camera really quickly. Hold on. And I'm gonna pull, open up this box. And I think there's there is. There's music instruments in here. I'm gonna see if you can guess what instrument I have in this box just by listening. Okay, ready? Tell me if you can figure out what this instrument is. Can you hear it? What do you think it is? That's right, it's a tambourine. Tambourine. Okay, are you ready for the next one? Let's see here. How about this? What do you think that is? That's right, it's a bell. There you go. Okay, a couple more here. What do you think this is? Can you guess? Symbols. Those are super loud. I won't do them super loud. Okay, two more. What do you think this is? Sounds kind of like our egg shakers. Or a rattle. It's a maraca. Good for keeping a beat. And then finally, this might be my favorite. See if you can guess. Can you guess? That's right, a triangle. And isn't this cool? It's just metal and metal. Now what I like to do is uh, touch the triangle and see how long it takes for the sound to go away. Should we try? All right, I'm gonna do it once and see how long you can hear the sound. Still going. And I can feel it in my fingers. There's also a vibration. Still going. Still going. Uh, it's still going, friends. And I think it stopped. <laughs> How do I resist not doing it one more time? That was great, friends. You got them all right. So let me put my music instruments away, and we'll read another book. Very good. Okay, now this book. I'm excited about this book because I didn't even really, well, I wasn't familiar with a place in Harlem called Sugar Hill. And back in the 20s, during the Great Migration, a lot of black folks moved up here from the South. And a lot of really, really important artists, mu musicians, authors, scholars, all lived here. And so it's a historic spot in New York City, still a, a historic spot. Now this is written by Carol Boston Weatherford. Now she began writing books in the first grade. And since then, she has written 42 books and won 19 awards. She lives in North Carolina and often collaborates with her son, who's an illustrator and a poet too. And this is illustrated by R. Gregory Christie. So let's find out about Harlem's historic neighborhood. Also, I thought it would be interesting while we learn about who lived here, I'm going to show you real pictures of the real people so that you can see their faces. Sugar Hill, Harlem's historic neighborhood. And this comes to us from Albert Whitman and Company. Sugar Hill, Sugar Hill where life is sweet and the A train stops for the black elite. There's the train. And there's the community. Where apartments are the height of style and watchful eyes train every child. Where the best and the brightest strive and shine and stairways lead right to cloud nine. Where grand townhomes lend river views and parties swing to jazz and blues. 
Sugar Hill, Sugar Hill, where life is sweet, and the neighbors smile at all they greet. Where doctors and lawyers live next door to the owners of the corner store. Where churches offer music schools that polish rough stones to jewels. Where Duke and Count pluck out new tunes. Okay, they're talking about Duke Ellington, famous pianist, and Count Basie. Basie, excuse me. There he is. And Zora spins stories by the moon. Okay, now Zora is an author, an activist, a poet. And there she is. Isn't she beautiful? Sugar Hill, Sugar Hill, where life is sweet, and the Nicholas brothers rest their feet. Look at that! Best dancers. Look at that. I mean, they're not having fun or anything, are they? Where Aaron Douglas births black art. Look at that. There he is, working. And a young Faith Ringgold gets her start. There she is. Now she's a quilter who writes stories with her quilts. Where talent blooms in pageants and choirs and prized books full fuel creative fires. Where Robison puts down roots for a while. Now he's a famous actor. There he is. And Sonny Rollins hangs with Miles. Okay, so we've got Sonny Rollins on the saxophone and Miles Davis on the trumpet. Here's Sonny Rollins. Playing his trumpet. And of course, here's Miles Davis. Sugar Hill, Sugar Hill, where life is sweet and kids play stickball in the street. Where Du Bois outlines social t tracks. Oh, there he is. And look. They he have his little mustache and beard in the illustration, and there it is in real life. And Thoroughgood Marshall plots legal attacks. He is the first African American Supreme Court justice. Looking handsome. Where lovely Lena takes Sunday strolls that shoot racist notions full of holes. And there she is, beautiful singer. Where grown-ups lift young ones high and give them wings to touch the sky. Sugar Hill, Sugar Hill, where life is so sweet that pride rings out on every street. The end. And what's nice about this book is you can read more about each of the people in this book. So this is a great one to check out to learn more. Okay, let me put this book down. And next, it's time for us to get moving a little bit because we have been learning and listening and now it's time to move around. Now, I have a favorite song that I haven't done in a while and it just seemed like the right day and it's called Big Red Bus. Okay, so first part goes, you've got your hands on a steering wheel and we'll say Big Red Bus and then we're going to say Mini, Mini, Mini and a big red bus, okay? So big wheels and little wheels. And then we're gonna say Ferrari, and we're gonna swing our hair back. Because you know what? When you're in a Ferrari, your hair swings back. And then we're gonna say at some point a rocket, a rocket, we're gonna, my knees crack, we're gonna do a helicopter and a jumbo jet. Okay, let's just do it twice. You will catch on, I promise. Okay, one, two, three. 
Big red bus, big red bus, mini, 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 and a big red bus. Big red bus, big red bus, mini, 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 and a big red bus. Ferrari, Ferrari, mini, 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 and a big red bus. Ferrari, Ferrari, mini, 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 and a big red bus. Okay, here comes the helicopters in the jumbo jet. So stick your arms out. We're going to go back and forth. Jumbo jet, jumbo jet, helicopter, helicopter, jumbo jet, jumbo jet, jumbo jet, helicopter, helicopter, jumbo jet, a rocket, a rocket, helicopter, helicopter, jumbo jet, a rocket, a rocket. Helicopter, helicopter, jumbo jet. Now, if you got all mixed up with all the movements, you're doing it right. And that's the fun part. Should we do it again? All right, here we go. Big red bus, big red bus, mini, 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 and a big red bus. Big red bus, big red bus, mini, 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 and a big red bus. Ferrari, Ferrari. Mini, 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 and a big red bus. Ferrari, Ferrari. Mini, 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 and a big red bus. Okay, jumbo jets. Jumbo jet, jumbo jet. Helicopter, helicopter, jumbo jet. Jumbo jet, jumbo jet. Helicopter, helicopter, jumbo jet. A rocket, a rocket, helicopter, helicopter, jumbo jet. A rocket, a rocket, helicopter, helicopter, jumbo jet. Okay, well, I am definitely w warmed up after that one. I hope you enjoyed that song. It's one of my favorites. Okay, I have one more book. Now, you may remember in the last book... I mentioned Faith Ringgold. It was, I'll show you her picture. Here she is. Faith Ringgold. You know, this picture was taken a while ago because Faith Ringgold is 90 years old and she's from Harlem, from Sugar Hill. She is, she does something called narrative quilts. So here's her quilt and narrative means it's telling a story. So there's a story in her quilt. She is has artwork in some of the most famous museums in the world. And she even has an elementary school named after her. So she is, and this is a book that has her paintings and some of her quilting, but also she wrote the story. So let's check it out. Tar Beach by Faith Ringgold. There's a little boy. This is brought to us from Crown Publishers, Inc. out of New York. I will always remember when the stars fell down around me and lifted me up above the George Washington Bridge. I could see our tiny rooftop with Mommy and Daddy and Mr. and Mrs. Honey next door, our neighbors still playing cards, as if nothing was going on. And Bibi, my baby brother, lying still on the mattress, just like I told him to, his eyes like huge floodlights tracking me in the sky. Sleeping on Tar Beach was magical, lying on the roof in the night with the stars and skyscraper buildings all around me made me feel rich like I owned all that I could see. The bridge was my most prized possession. Daddy said that George Washington Bridge is the longest and most beautiful bridge in the world and that it opened in 1931, on the very day that I was born. Daddy worked on that bridge, ho hoisting cables. Since then, I've wanted that bridge to be mine. Now I have to climb it. 
All I have to do is fly over it to be mine forever. I can wear it like a giant, giant diamond necklace. Or just fly above it and marvel at the sparkling beauty. Yes, I can fly. Fly, me, Cassie Louise Lightfoot, only eight years old and in the third grade, and I can fly. That means I am free to go wherever I want to for the rest of my life. Daddy took me to see the new union building he's working on. He can walk on steel girders high up in the sky and not fall. They call him the cat. But still, he can't join the union because Grandpa wasn't a member. Well, Daddy's going to own that building because I'm going to fly over it and give it to him. Then it won't matter if he's not in their old union or whether he's colored or half-breed Indian, like they say. He'll be rich and won't have to stand on 24 story high girders and look down. He can look at his building going up. And mommy won't cry all winter when he goes back to look for work and doesn't come home. And mommy can laugh and sleep late like Mrs. Honey. And we can have ice cream every night for dessert. There's the ice cream factory. Next, I'm going to fly over the ice cream factory, just to make sure we do. Tonight, we're going up to Tar Beach. Mommy is roasting peanuts and frying chicken, and Daddy will bring home watermelon. Mr. and Mrs. Honey will bring beer in their old green card table. And then the stars will fall around me, and I will fly to the Union Building. I'll take Bibi with me. He has threatened to tell Mommy and Daddy if I leave him behind. I have told him that it's very easy anyone can fly. All you need is somewhere to go that you can't go any other way. The next thing you know, you're flying among the stars. The end. Now here is the actual quilt. And the story is written within the fabric of this quilt. And the, I think she paints some fabric too. So this is part of the painting part. But this is the actual, and this is at the Guggenheim Museum in New York City, which is wonderful. And there's another picture. So this is a really interesting, again, she's 90 years old now, which is incredible. Good for her. Okay, my friends, that was fun. That was super, super fun. So... Until we meet again, I just want to remind you, and I know you know, let's wash our hands together. That way we know exactly what to do when it's time for snack and we want to eat something. Okay, so tops and bottoms. You ready? One, two, three. Tops and bottoms, tops and bottoms. In between, in between. Rub them all together, rub them all together. Now they're clean, squeaky clean. Again, tops and bottoms, tops and bottoms. In between, in between. Rub them all together, rub them all together. Now they're clean, squeaky clean. Excellent. Enjoy the beautiful day out there today, and maybe we'll get some nice snow tomorrow. But until then, I shall see you later, alligator in a wild crocodile. Give a hug, ladybug. Blow a kiss, jellyfish. See you soon, big baboon. Out the door, dinosaur, take care, polar bear, wave goodbye, butterfly. I'll see you later, friends. Bye.